What's going on YouTube? Happy New Year's to you. Mr. 1013 is here with the first figure reviews of 2014. And so happens to be the G.I. Joe Club subscription 2.0 combat engineer toll booth. Um, definitely was a character I was interested in having. He um he was a, a vehicle driver from back in the day. This time we got him single carded. Um, let's take a look at his read up real quick. Get that out the way. Here it is. Go ahead, get out of pause so you guys can check that out. Get his read up. And on to Toll Booth himself with his accessories. Toll Booth comes with um some some nice little accessories. I mean some stuff we got before. We got the barbed wire. We got um this time instead of the neon green cones like the um, Techno Viper came with, we get some nice um bright orange cones. Should be good for diodes. We also come with um this pickaxe. Very nice finish on that 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 chrome piece up there. Um nice little sledgehammer. Nice addition, like I said, with the chrome on there, real clean. No blotches or anything, so that's a real clean piece. And he also comes with um, a handgun. Toe booth also comes with his standard uh, codename Toe Booth GI Joe stand. Now let's take a look at Toe Booth himself. Always trying to get a good crisp. Uh, there we go. Now his helmet does not come off. It is molded on there. But let's get a 360 of them real quick. And this is a real short figure. Um, you can see how his legs, like his calf um, to his boot is like really short. So this is a short figure. They also say he fits in the um, brick layer. Or the bridge layer uh, from back in the day as well due to his height. So I wonder if they did that on purpose or not. Um, paint apps look really good on here. You see on his uh, sleeve. He has a little castle on here little logo on there that's pretty dope um let's get into his articulation articulation wise he has slight up and down head there's a 360 the vest does not hinder it at all arms go out 360 bend at the elbow spin at the elbow no hinge wrist just spins at the wrist. Legs go out. Double jointed knees. Foot does pivot. Ankle pivot and ankle spin. So, so he's a real um dope character. I mean, this is my first time having him part of my collection. Like I said, he came on the earlier days of Joe's, and I believe I was still probably, I didn't really get into Joe's until like 80, early 80s, like maybe like 87, so like 83 to 87, 86, I kind of missed them, but kind of had um, a couple of friends who did have them a little bit older than me, but I'm very satisfied with this figure. This is one of the figures I had, um, I was anticipating, so... I was actually waiting for him to come out. Had that real Joe feel to him. Um, definitely a great addition. If you want to pick them up, I know they're going on Amazon. If you didn't get the subscription, I know Big Bad Toy Store is going for like 55 for this guy. But Amazon, you could probably catch him for like 35 So you might want to check your luck there. I got mine from Past Generation Toys. Um, I don't know if they still got them on there, but definitely look around if you're interested in getting them on there. But that is it for Toll Booth. On to the next review. Talk to y'all later. Peace.